It's April 16th, the day after American Tax Day. You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who believed that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? And us to be us. <laughs> cool. It's reassuring to hear someone else say it. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from Persona, someone Persona, that's the name of the so game. We solve the case. Then again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your Persona first. I feel like... As long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Even with so much mystery swirling around, Yosuke is trying his hardest to move on. You sense a faint stirring of friendship between you and Yosuke. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shall be blessed when creating personas of the Magician Arcana. The Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. He's now, uh... His first friend. Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we I still don't know why Saki died. We'll check it out later. Person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. The kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago too. I don't know why Saki worked at mall store either. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she Probably said she evil needs news reporter. school today. Calm down. We get the picture. I messaged her on MySpace. She said she was coming. Her? No. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe. That's first. a good idea. Give her another call. Serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? 
Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. Um, uh, nah, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think about it, this has happened before, too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. Maybe it was his soulmate. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? But why did she email that she is coming to the school? So sorry. But there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show yeah, up on like TV me. because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. Alright, let's meet up at Juness after school. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. But I forgot there's a sale no in the electronics department today. To the electronics department. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? Something bit you. <laughs> What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you... Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you right. okay? Wow, that oh, looks yeah. like it hurts. I gotta check the walkthrough in case there's any certain it. responses I'm supposed to give. No. Hey, you! We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Anyone. I'm a lonely little bear like always. This land feels so barren. <laughs> Shut it. So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. <laughs> I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn. I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. All right. Don't forget to watch tonight. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. 
I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic, and now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. And, uh, he plays a lot of Among Us. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer well, shutting her up discovered as a her corpse. Motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news, too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something was about Ichigo? the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. Don't quote me. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone I'm involved with watch. the victims. Our perp. Bleach it has to and be Japanese, someone in So Enoch. I don't actually know. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? That is a weird disconnect from the text. Right. Well, I don't think anything cool even happened in this day. No, it's because he didn't go to school. Okay, but there's a cutscene. Good evening. Tonight, Princess Yukiko has a big surprise. I'm gonna go score myself a hot stud. Welcome to Not a Dream, Not a Hoax. Princess That's Yukiko not her at all. For her Prince Charming, and I came prepared. I've got my lacy unmentionables on, stacked from top to bottom. I'm out to catch a whole harem, and the best of the lot is gonna be all mine. Well, here I go. Who's making her do this? Oh, he's got a cool coat now. That was Yukiko-san for sure. It looked like her, and I mean, she even said her name. But didn't the stuff she was saying sound weird? And she looked like she was on some low-budget TV show. Was it like this before, too? What's going on? Uh, I don't know. Try to... Let's meet 
meet up at Juness first thing in the morning. Wait, go to bed early? It's midnight. Oh, he's got cool clothes. Oh, it's the weekend. Actually, I Good think morning. in the Persona games, you have one day off from school. You're up early. He woke up early, so I woke up with him. He said he's gonna be late. Are you going somewhere? I'll be fine by myself. So the weather this weekend oh, will be perfect for going out. Oh, he's not gonna go to go out. As for next week's forecast. Oh, the sun's gonna come out. I should do some laundry. Uh, weren't you going somewhere? What if she grows up to be the maid teacher in Persona 5? Sorry for the hold up. I found some. Take a look at these. We've got our personas, but a golf club's <laughs> she's, not that reliable. She's very concerned. So, which one strikes your fancy? The katana. Ah, you've got discerning taste. I, I think he would have forced you to use the katana anyway. The blade's fake, though. As for me. Wait, maybe both would be good too. <laughs> kind of like this. Or like this. That's exactly the same. What about this? I think there is a character in Dodoni Kenshin who does that two suspicious young males found one armed with multiple weapons requesting immediate backup huh oh crap i mean no 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 this, this isn't what it looks like we didn't steal it i guess that's not what matters anyways we're not doing anything bad we're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound right either. <laughs> Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands where I can see them, too. I said now! But, but, this isn't... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest! <laughs> He's stupid. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. They got men stationed everywhere, for God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Now this would have ended up on your permanent record. You're sorry. Wait, your so weapons the one that have been confiscated. Is the girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Then she really is. Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? He didn't call oh, him his uh, nephew. Can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi of the Amagi Inn. Did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um... Am I allowed 
to say. Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, keep this between us, okay? We got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. But people have been turning up dead on foggy days, so we're really sensitive to stuff like this. By the way, did she say anything to you guys about maybe going through some hard no. times? Uh, hard times? That announcer, Miss Yamana, was... <laughs> Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter... By the way, did Miss Amagi... Uh, ever so, I think this is an example of him being house? bad at his job. Because if not... There's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said uh, what did he say? Please? Detective think that Yukiko-san. Okay. There she unzipped are. her coat. Jeez, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere. Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you about it later. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer... They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? Oh! <gasps> Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, di- Right. That's the important thing. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you going to be all right? Man, they just confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, sorry. I said, yeah, this is the place from the first part where there was a guy hammering in the back. And I don't know why there would be, uh, enough demand for medieval weapons for this place to be open. But I guess it probably doesn't cost that much. Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I know how you feel, but... You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. You can come my die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! All right. I'll be fine. My 
reflexes are second to none. Listen, I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. He gave me 50 bucks. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our sure. uniforms? I don't think people would notice. I don't I don't think that all. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends, and if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. Ah, you come to see my art? Please look around. Take your time. Um so my guide says not to buy anything because they're not that much better. Imitation katana? A stick shaped vaguely like a katana. A small hatchet that isn't all that sharp. The hunting nada. Uh, apparently it's really hard to get money in the early game and you're better off uh, waiting until it's easy for you to get money. Headband and amulet. Oh, that was loud. So, it finally begins. Now, if you'll give me a moment of your time. have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken Wait, you the unfriendly lives girl is here too. You. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. Your persona ability is that of the wild card. <laughs> If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the fusion of personas. You have the power to hold multiple personas and to use them accordingly. When you defeat an enemy, the seeds of possibility you attain will appear before you as cards. At times, they may be hard to grasp, but you must master your fear and reach out to them. When you obtain new cards, please do not hesitate to bring them here. If you have been developing your social links, then your persona will gain even more power. They will be one of your chief sources of strength. You would do well to take this to heart. The tome you see in my hand is the Persona Compendium. 
Registering the personas you hold will allow you to recall them at any time. Please see me when you wish to use it. Oh, and one more thing. I would like to introduce a new resident of the Velvet Room, who will be helping you on your journey. <laughs> Marie? Yeah, I can hear. Nice to meet you. Dino. It doesn't matter. Excuse her. This is Marie. Her soul is still very young and... Shut up. Don't tell him any more about me than you need to. Is As that... you can see. That can't be Lindsay Lohan. She may be brusque at times, but please understand that she is only an apprentice and forgive her for her impoliteness. Marie will be dealing with skill cards. Using these cards will allow you to provide your personas with new powers. Also, I am sure she will help you form a bond between yourself and the outside world. Marie will contact you at a later date. Please feel free to speak with her here when you wish to use her services. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you before? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. I meant precisely what I said. Defeat in battle is not the only way your journey may come to an end. Please do not forget this. When next we meet, you will come here of your own will. All right, then I just won't come. <laughs> I look forward to it. Until then, farewell. This girl's walking funny. Alright, um, and apparently there's a vending machine, which is really helpful. I think it's this one. Alright, all the drinks are sold out. Oh no, it's over here. Huh? What do you want? You're not from around here, are you? I'm busy with errands for my sister. Ah, if only this was a part-time job, but doing this all for no reward? Can't believe it. The notice says that starting the 23rd, you can apply for a part-time job, but at my age, getting hired is impossible. All right. It's probably these. Supposed to meet at the others at Juna's. We really stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Gee, it's not too late to. I'm going. Fine, but don't push yourself. Got it? What are you doing? Can't you tell? I'm thinking about stuff. I've been liberating over it for a long time now. Hey, that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> uh, so, did you figure anything out? Uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much. I've seen the inside of your skull, and it was empty. How rude. You're right, though. I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now is not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? 
Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss? Uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. Is it Yukiko-san? I don't know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. Over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Y yeah. Hey, do you think they might have a cell phone we can use? You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? I don't know. Maybe people on your side can see stuff in this world. It might be that. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? Because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't that seem off? I mean, Yukiko saying stuff like, score myself a hot stud. Oh, that's not like her at all. Score? Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Huh. I wonder. Is this kind of like what happened to me last time? There's a lot of stuff I still don't get. But after hearing your story, I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it. Or something like that. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Oh, I don't get this at all! Hey, do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? <laughs> they ignore him. him. I'm going on ahead. Hey, wait, don't go alone. Jeez, we better follow her. Oh my gosh. After three hours, we finally have gameplay. I don't know, there might be a treasure chest this way. Nah. Shadows have gotten aggravated since you two got here. They'll probably attack you as soon as they find you. So, try to get the jump on shadows before they can attack you. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know any golf terminology, so... Hit it out of the park. That was just... Like, don't grind in a... Uh... RPG until you get all your party members. Usually they give you equipment at storyline parts. Alright, Yukiko thinks she has a castle. Oh, I thought his range was better. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Um, these look like dolphins. There are two enemies! Hang in there! 
Oh, Yosuke, you're in the zone! Well, so far, this is, uh... When you... Really similar to, uh... It's closer to Persona 3 than it is Persona 5. You've welcomed slime into your heart. When you eat nasty food. Gotta step up too. Hmm. You're good at fighting, Sensei. Compared to you, Yosuke stinks. Though I do gotta admit, you have a knack for this stuff, doesn't he? So you should be the one to give Yosuke orders during a fight. Uh, yeah, because right now we seem to be able to just beat them in a single melee attack. There she is! Chie Chen is in there! Chie, are you alright? She said that bread looks good on me. Yukiko san? I hated my name, Yukiko. Snow. Snow is cold and it melts quickly. It's transient. Worthless. But it's perfect for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Were these Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? Worthless compared to what, though? Too. Yeah. This castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Yukiko? Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's bright and strong, and she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm... I'm... Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... She is so, so kind, kind, huh? What, what a joke. joke. What? Oh, man. Is that... It's just like Yosuke. She lost control over her suppressed self. Now it's a shadow. Are we talking about that, Yukiko? <laughs> she says I'm protecting her. She says she's worthless. <laughs> That's how it should be, right? What are you saying? Yukiko, so good looking. So fair skin. So feminine. She's the one all the guys drool over. When you can come look, look at, at me with such jealousy? Man, did I get a charge out of that? You can come knows the score. She can't do anything if I'm not around. I'm better than her. Much, much better. No! I've, I've never thought that! What are we gonna do? I don't know. We need to protect Chie-chan right now. No, don't come near me. Don't look at me. Chie, calm down. No, no, this isn't me. Wait, stupid. Don't say anything else like that. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. I knew I can't, can't do anything, anything alone. alone. I, I can't, can't win as a girl. girl. Let alone as a person. I'm pathetic. But you can go. She depends on me. 
That's why she's my friend. I'll never loosen my grip on her. She's too important to me. That's not how I think of her! <laughs> so you're just going to turn your back and deny me again? But things are different now. When the time comes, I'll be the one left standing. Still, you. Jin, no! You're not me! <laughs> All right, so there's a uh, banana girl sitting on a stack of three girls and she has a chain around all their necks Chie! it's coming and her hair is really long and it has knives at the end oh and she has a whip Oh, she also has a flail. Shut up! Quit being such a pain! Chie, just hang in there a little longer. Huh. Think, Think you, you can, can stop, stop me that easy? easy? Alright. Let's see if I can debuff the Shut boss. Up. Oh, it works. They have that feature in Persona 3, too. Yosuke's defense. Nah. And then see if she's weak to lightning. Because she's weak to wind. We know that. He should heal himself. That's cool that he has healing. And now he takes a lot less damage. Oh, she resists it now. We don't need to. Okay, she resists melee. That's good to know. Cartoony violence. I don't know why that was 
their shadow. Like, they didn't really do much to set that up. Because they both only have one friend, right? More than that thing. But I. He's right. I went through the same thing, so I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. Yeah, kind of get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forgive. ...that I tried to ignore... ...but you still exist. You're a part of me. That looks kinda like a Power Rangers villain. Tomoe. of me feels that way but I wasn't lying about being friends with Yukiko like we didn't know that already hey Chie! I'm okay just a little tired you don't look okay at all and I bet you can use the same power we have now huh Hey, what should we do? Aren't these the same option? I agree. We need to let Chia rest. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? Uh, I... Uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her okay, something. Okay, so that was... her... Yukiko's impression of Chie. And... the other guy... That was Saki's impression of him. I'm not as strong as she thinks. Oh, that's... It's because she was with me. That's why Saki was working at the mall. It was because of that guy. Because we were always together. I was able to act that way. Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean... they were killed by their other selves? The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. Yukiko's still here. She's all alone. She must be so scared. 
then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. Th that's You don't know what's up ahead. The enemies might be even stronger. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail no matter what. Am I wrong? <sighs> All right. I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like All that. Alright, let's by go myself. together next time. No worries. We're definitely gonna save Yukiko-san, right? <sighs> right. I uh. I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. We're totally okay. Are you guys okay? That's right, you're not wearing the glasses. Oh yeah. What's with those gla- Man, you didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? Time to- Here you go! Whoa, what the? Why didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I had a small issue with my speaker. I made them right now. You didn't tell me she was coming. It was all so saddened. I mean, sudden. Huh, so that's the trick. I was wondering how you guys could see where you were going. Hey, is it all right if I keep these? Faux show. Sure. We'll have to stop here today, but I'll be back with these puppies. You guys better not come here without me, got it? Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san, right? Yeah, I agree. I promise to. Oh, she looks very nice in those. Uh, I think her eyes shrank, though. I'm not sure. All right. So from tomorrow on, we'll try and come here as much as we can after school. And that includes days off. Hey, would you mind being our leader? You were the first to get this power, and you're way better in a fight than either of us. I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead. I'm cool playing second banana. Leave it to me. I had a feeling you'd say that. I mean, I'm more the advisor type, you know? An ideas man, not an executive. I'm with Yosuke. If you're the one calling the shots, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now. You've been unanimously appointed team leader. So in... Persona 5, you get your arcanas by just talking to individuals. But in Persona 3, you have social groups. So if you go to a club, that'll be your arcana. But I think the fool is supposed okay. to be him. Let's get some rest for today so we're ready for tomorrow on. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time.
That's all for World News Tonight. Coming up next, the local news. Hmm. Hey, mind if I ask something? You aren't getting involved with any strange business, are you? Uh, kinda. What happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. Is there anything you're not telling me? Don't worry. Is something bothering you? Believe me, I, I do feel bad that I've been too caught up with work for us to have time to talk. Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No, we're, we're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. I agreed to look after you. So don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Got And now, our weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west, that sunny spring-like weather will stay with us for a while longer. Is this lady the one who decides the weather? Cause when she says it'll be sunny, it always is. Uh, she's not really deciding it. <laughs> Never mind. Don't fight. Sorry. You can hear Nanako calling you from downstairs. It's me, Moroka. I have something that I've prepared just for you. I was going to deliver it to your house, but the situation's changed. I need you to come pick it up. Eh? Where am I? I was getting to that. I am in front of the gas station at the shopping district. You got that? Now hurry up and come pick it up. That's a little weird. And where do you think you're going? Listen. I'll only say this once, so listen close. Maybe it's normal for kids like you to be goofing around outside at night back in the big city. But this isn't the city, it's the countryside. And your mother trusts me to keep you safe. You're not a kid anymore. I just have to trust you when you're out of my sight. But I can't just let you run around at night, you get me? So that's it. Don't go wandering around at night if you don't have any reason to go out, alright? Um... Who called you just now? Don't tell me you're planning on going out at this hour. My homeroom teacher needs to see me. Well, I understand. Go take care of business and hurry back home. How do I leave? Sooner than I expected. This is the school jersey I got for you. Go on, take it. Now that you've got it, get out of here. I need to see this girl home. You know the way to your own house, don't you? Uh. Well, this guy's accusing everybody else of being a pervert. But it's not a lie. I really am on the way home from cram school. I can go home by myself. I wasn't trying to stay out and party. Alright, let's see when this outfit activates. Well, I guess he was, like, right outside his house. You're back. You're home. 
So what was it? Huh? You were given a school jersey, that's it? He could have just given that to you at school. Well, I'm sure telling you that isn't helping. School's tough enough as it is. With these incidents going on, everyone's on edge. Okay, but how- when does it look different? No, he's wearing the same clothes. Okay, so I think it just affects the dialogue. And there we go.